Three, two, two one, go! What's up, everyone? Welcome back. That was a very exuberant intro. I might leave that in, like... Three, two, one, one go! <laughs> oh, let's resume this. We're, Do I hit, we hit we, Yeah, we stopped in the middle of an investigation because Cole Phelps had to go on a sabbatical for a bit. He was getting too stressed out with his job of throwing He's like, damn it, Rusty, you hit too many cars. That's why you're <laughs> driving, is because that's what I all, all I do. Rusty, we're gonna take the week off from solving this heinous, brutal murder so that you can go to one, right? some sort of traffic school. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's always the one that's not from January. It's also always the one that apparently doesn't say replay on it, but I think there was a couple more that you I heard. have no idea. I don't pay attention to that. I just look and see the last time that we recorded was like, what did that say? July 13th? Sorry. No, I was looking at the January one. I, 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 my months are all fucked up now. So, let's solve the crimes like the Batman. <laughs> Uh, as you know, because we're I just here. told you. Oh, where are we? I know the le when we left off, we had just uh, we came from wherever McCaffrey was staying, so that we could find his. I think. What did we find there? We did. We found his book, right? And we still haven't found the other half of that note that we need to find. That I don't know where it is. Is that where we left off? Yeah, I guess. Uh, oh, wait. I should probably go... I don't even oh, know. you know what? I should turn the volume up so that we can actually hear things, like important audio cues. How can I help the you? The volume is so fucking low! Alright, let's... Yeah, start. important audio cues, like the woman on the phone going, How can I help detective? That's subtitle. <laughs> yeah, so, like I just told you, I was up all night after we were playing Dragon's Crown and getting real creepy with that. Uh. And Ryan was... Seaman, who was all over the saber tooth tiger's fur. And I was stiss. <laughs> you were stiss. Damn. I was sleepy the dwarf. Uh, I... Weird sleep issues, so I was up all night reading Batman comics and... Watching Daria, as all insomniacs so are known to do. <laughs> and I was reading... Line. You know the, the, the Batman All-Star... And Robin series or whatever it's called, the one Frank Miller did, is the one where Batman calls Robin a retard at one point. Does? Yeah, I've told you about this multiple times. There's an issue where they're, I think they're flying the Batplane or something, he he was at home. and they're so having a conversation, and Batman's and like, "What are you dense? Are you retarded? I I'm the goddamn Batman. That's where the goddamn Batman thing comes from. It's Frank Miller's. Is that you, Grover? One of that. Particular what series. What are you doing in here? So I was reading another one from that from Frank Miller's run on uh, All Star Batman or whatever it's called. And in this one, it starts out with him cackling like a lunatic about how awesome it is to to scare the shit out of people. And he's just going on like this. And then there are people who it's it's a ring of bleach thieves. These go around stealing bleach for some reason. <laughs> So, he confronts all of these bleach thieves, and he's like, he, he gets a big jug of bleach, and he sets it on fire, and he throws it at them like a Molotov cocktail. And it explodes, and it sets all of the thieves on fire. And then they're burning to death, and Batman just starts beating the shit out of them. He just starts beating the shit out of them. It's like that, that story I was talking about the other day, the dude from, uh, from... Scotland, with the guy, when the two terrorists drove a flaming car into Glasgow Airport, and the guy was like, I kicked burning terrorists so hard in balls, I tore a tendon in my foot. That's what Batman was doing throughout the early part of this comic. And then, Black Canary is watching... Uh, oh, you found the other half of the note, awesome. Very least, I'd say it and then Black Canary is watching over it, and she's like, oh my god, this is making me so hot watching Batman beat up criminals who are burning to death in front of him. Who he just set on fire with his makeshift bleach Molotov. And so she comes down and she's telling Batman how hot it is when he kills criminals. <laughs> and they just start having sex right there on the dock as the dock is on fire and people are burning to death. Because she gets so turned on at the sight of arson and murder. <laughs> and that's that. And then it... It, it later on it shows Robin cutting a rat in half because in this continuity Batman has kidnapped Robin. <laughs> Frank Miller is insane. 
Frank Miller is super go. fucking insane. Frank Miller can stop ruining Batman, please. Frank Miller is not just insane when he writes Batman comics. Oh, hey, it's McCaffrey again. A bitch wants to get thrown off the roof as oh No! Why do they always have to escape to the fire escape? I don't know. Why Except I... for that one guy. What yeah, are you going to do with him? The one guy that I, uh... The one guy who made the crucial error. Yeah. Well, error for him, not for me. It was... It was the high point of your career, that one. So Frank Miller's you not just insane Catholic. with the Batman comics. Fight the good fight. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. He's a little like Cole Phelps, except way more extreme and nothing like Cole Phelps. Frank Miller, uh, I think it was two years ago, Get that went off on some like crazy tangent about how out. all the people... LAPD. He had a meltdown, and he was talking about how all the people from the Occupy Wall Street movement were thieves and rapists. And he's like, Al-Qaeda must love the Al the Occupy movement. Nothing but a bunch of, of rapists and anarchists, these Occupy people. They want to steal from America. And, uh, he, had a, he had a complete breakdown about the Occupy movement. And then, I think, uh, like three or four years before that, he was working on... Uh, another Batman comic, and it was gonna be called Batman Holy Terror. Did someone just hit someone next to you? Maybe. Yeah, all the NPCs are just going to shit at this point. Alright, let's go tie McCaffrey to the bowling alley. Yeah, let's tie him to the bowling balls and roll him down let's the alley. Let's tie him to the front of my car and do this. No Frank steady. Miller was <laughs> writing a story called, uh... It was called Holy Terror. Up ahead, you make a run. And it was all... <laughs> It was all about Al Qaeda and Batman fighting Al Qaeda and Bin Laden. Really? Yeah, and then DC was like, "No, no fucking way!" After a while, and after a while, after so they considered after a while, they considered it for a bit, and then it was like two or three years later that they were finally like, "No, no, no, that that shit's not gonna fly." So he uh, invented his own superhero. I think he's called the Fixer or something. Which sounds a lot like Repair Man 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 Man. Repair Man 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 Man. And he invents his own superhero who goes out and fights Al Qaeda. Fire Marshal Bill. And I haven't read that comic, but because it's Frank Miller and Frank Miller is fucking out of his mind, I want to read it. Just to see him. I ruined. just want to see how how far the meltdown in this one goes. He is a real thing against. I mean, I guess most people aren't big fans of Al-Qaeda, but he has a real obsession oh, no. here. He's like the Bill O'Reilly of comic book writers. That is apparently like a big Islamophobe. Which I guess goes hand in hand when you have like this weird, crazy obsession with Al-Qaeda. It's not even like, man, I hate those guys. They flew that plane into that tower and they hate the freedoms we have. It's not even that kind of like jingoistic obsession it's just it's just crazy it's just the kind of thing that you go man that man is a nut job and he will probably eventually crash a car into a bowling alley <laughs> whoops <laughs> cole phelps is frank miller's grandfather <laughs> hey uh is there a bowling mini game in this game uh, there is not, in fact, a bowling mini game. Can I, they, can I throw a suspect down? The no, but if you call up your cousin Roman, he will Phelps. not be in this game. You must be Nico, it's your cousin. Let's go bowling. Did you see the music video someone made for Roman and him bugging Nico yeah. all the time? You saw that music video? <laughs> Nico, it's your cousin. Right oh, are we gonna yell at this old lady too? Oh yeah. The lanes the back. She seems like she's very sensitive. I'm gonna yell at her the most. He's a nice Hit that boy. fucking Thanks, stupid man. looking hat off her head. <laughs> let's go get him. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna. Yeah, let's go get him. I don't know if I wanna cross. There he is. I don't know if I wanna cross into like physical abuse of an old woman here. I just wanna verbally abuse her. Cole fell. This isn't how you bowl. This is bullshit. Just because he's a cop and he wears a badge, he thinks he can abuse his power by cheating at bowling? Can you... Oh no, you can't go into the lanes no, with the no, pins? No, no. You go into that lane. No, why? 
What are we supposed to be doing here? Fuck my I was talking about how Frank Miller is a nut job. Gutter Bowl. Gutter Phelps. Gutter Phelps. Tiernan! LAPD! It's like, oh, hey. Well, we're just chasing everybody down now. Everything I totally don't remember anything going on with this crime except McC uh, McCaffrey is a huge, arrogant asshole. I don't remember anything else about there. this crime. Uh, this was the one about the secretary? Yeah, look at this. This, I mean, it looks like a car to me. What are you me. waiting for? Get after it! Every car go just looks like a car. The, extra and weight. the only difference is cars today look like modern cars and these cars look like old-timey cars. I can't differentiate beyond that. What model car is this? Or a uh, probably a Pontiac. Probably a Pontiac. Probably a Pontiac. So you can't don't tell the difference either. They're back. all just cars. I'm not saying thank you. Another runner. Well, well, we but I, I've created this narrative in my head run? where you're my I'm car and gun guy. guy. You're the more than one of you're the one outside. with the expertise they in those fields. You know, your are not I think I said that in a different let's a different let's. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit! Tire. This guy's out of control. You better this run him off the road before he steals your identity as the mad car crasher. The roving, insane uh, the motorist. Oh, yes, just mount the car. Just make the car's hump. Listen to that engine purr. Give it up, LAPD. Oh my god, it. Oh, I thought the street post was part of the car falling apart. Yeah, it became part of the car for a little bit. It melded with it, it fused. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> This is bullshit! Seven years. Seven years development. <laughs> we need to get downtown and that's, wrap this thing up. That's the nineteen forties equivalent of a wheelchair ramp. Less which that guy should have needed up. a wheelchair after the way he drove. <laughs> yeah, after the way he drove and after the way I drove him into a fucking pole. Uh, whoever did it. Yeah, the pole that magically fused with his the underside of his car. Where are we going now? Uh, uh let this, Rusty drive. No, somebody had His requested that I do it. Do, do which drive? Exhaustive, Rusty. All, all the driving? Part. Most of it. Oh, God. <laughs> you realize that all of these cases are like an hour and a half long this way? <laughs> are you gonna at least drive well? Yeah, I'll drive better. Dri Define better here. I will not get as distracted by the fun physics and the shattering fun. things like that. Easy. That was that was okay. That didn't slow you down. And it might have taken out a herd of, of criminals, let's call them. Everyone in this town's a potential criminal. You just have to you have to go after all of them. You have to prevent future crime Come here. On. Oh, oh, this is the shit. Pretty dead. No, you can still make it. If you, I get to this hill, you, I, maybe you can I ride, can... you can coast. Like there we go. How good are the physics? We're gonna find out. What is this in fucking neutral? No, I think I. No, get the other car to give you a little boost. There we go. I think we're we're picking up speed. No, yeah. I fucked up that front tire. What the front tire on your car? Yeah. Let me see it. Is it the one on the right? The one that's not spinning. None of them are spinning. Oh no, the back wheel is. Yeah, yeah the, it's just the other side. The other wheel is. Spinning. Yeah, it's just rear rear wheel drive. That's how that works, right? No. No, fuck. See? That's why I rely on you for the car knowledge. Remember the alternator debacle? Oh. <laughs> Mike, how does the alternator work? It alternates the car, correct? Yeah, it turns- it alternates sure you can make it stick oh. with it one of these suspects. <laughs> it's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. James I think you alternated that car between drivable right. and it's undrivable. It's a generator, damn it! <laughs> but it's an alternator, how can it be a generator, too? It's the masturbator. Is it the carburetor? <laughs> Mike, I think you had a really good carburetor in that car. It berated the car so good that its self-esteem plummeted, and it didn't drive anymore. I didn't even hear what he said. I, I didn't either. This is gonna be a real interesting interrogation. Which one is this? Oh, uh, it's McCaffrey. I have all the answers. People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. This is the. Let's see where this takes us. Fuck. This is the second time we've talked to McCaffrey, right? Yep. Okay. You told Let's us do it. Relationship with a victim. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. 
What the fuck look was that on Phelps' face? That was... Facial animation freaking out look. That wasn't human emotion. Right. So, what oh, is the answer, the, sir? The, the, the torn letter. The torn pretty... letter we just completed. I'm sure that'll work. Yeah. I mean, he... You have to do better. Than oh, that. you go into the evidence and then back out and then hit a lie. And a boring yeah. one at that. You can't link her to me. How? I've never met a boring drunk. I've met obnoxious drunks and fun drunks. Never boring ones. Your neighbor, for instance, not a boring drunk. <laughs> seems really seems annoying one, but ah, oh, that, that wasn't enough. Actually, do detective. Wait, what? Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the answer. Oh, fuck. Evelyn died sometime okay, around alibi. Midnight. Evelyn died sometime right. around midnight. Where Remind you? me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. I didn't find no manuscript. Um, what about the book? What? The... I'll Check the book you found? Shit, I could have used that as... Oh, the fuck. Was... No, that couldn't have been for the where last the question. Book? The book's right there. Oh, there it is. Uh, and sorry, found amongst the victims. No, but that, that would have been the last question. This had, well, He's just talking about fucking him doing his stupid his manuscript. Yeah, but it was his alibi that he wasn't a, that he wasn't around Evelyn at the time of death because he was out working on his manuscript. I guess the book doesn't prove that, no, but it proves that he, he knew her because his name was in her book. Yeah. that's. I don't think that proves the lie, though. That's the thing. I never... Um, torn letter addressed to Evelyn. Pieces found in possession of victim and McCaffrey. None of this, because this is a, this is a timeline question, a question of like, can he prove that his or like, is his alibi solid? You're ruining the ambiance. Oh, sh fuck you and your ambience. I mean, to be honest, I don't really have any evidence. I could doubt his ass, though. I Go don't for the really... doubt. All right. Go for You're gonna throat. need to do better. Go for the throat. Nope. Yeah, I, I was having it doesn't help that we life. recorded the first Didn't half of this case, call, like, two weeks ago, and now we're jumping into the middle of it with no recap. Party members. Good. To your funeral. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. Oh, no. Wait. I want to put him down one way. Okay, I guess we go... Where? What was that? That was interrogation room two, so go to one. Where is one? Is that on the left? Yeah. So this should be Tiernan now. I don't remember what we found on Tiernan before. I to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. So he says he's the last one to see Evelyn. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I barely knew Evelyn. That's bullshit. No! Lie! It's a lie? Yeah. I don't have well, any... yeah, bullshit. No, check your shit. I don't have any proof. Um, let's see. So... Keep going. Where was the one thing? Oh, shit. Didn't we... Oh, did we miss an interview with someone telling her where she was... Probably. Last scene. Uh, I think we missed a bunch of shit on this one anyway. Sounds like half an answer to me, Ternan. We're no. you sleeping with her. Oh, this is it's off to a really business. bad start. It's all of my Paris business. Are you shitting me? The book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once. And yeah. In her face. McCaffrey saw her looking at her saying face. Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. Oh, wait a minute. That book. Yeah, that book belongs to him. That's why his name's in it. But still, it does prove that they knew each other. This is Tiernan, though. What do you think? We already came to that conclusion. Yeah. No, because I was thinking it was something else. Uh, I don't know. He seems pretty legit right here. What do you want to do? Because oh. I am very unsure at this point. I don't even care about this fucking thing. Who is this bitch? Well, no, the... because... This is another one where you have to choose at the end of this who you want to charge with the murder. And I think in order to charge the right person, you need to do so well or something. I'm not entirely sure about that. So, 
Storano Robbins testifies victim bought whiskey for a boy after an argument? I don't have nah. any proof of anything. So I, I mean, doubt again. Screw. I'm saying doubt. Alright. Uh, you or McCaffrey. Yeah, you okay. Give us something. <laughs> Go well, blind luck. Been in trouble with the law before. Give us anything. He makes out with some kind I'm of fishing labor. here. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Do you see the lures in my hat? You and Evelyn were drinking well, together last le night. He's leaning over real and threateningly. No I think he's gonna put a fishing hook I through his nose. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You totally do, though. Oh no, he's being super honest about that. I think? Nah. That's doubtable. That's shifty as shit. I don't have any proof to prove Um, except for the liquor purchase. Yeah, the liquor purchase. You're right. I doubt it. I'll do it. Nah, it's fine. That's right. You fought and I'm not lying. You fought and, and fought and, and then alcohol. That we did. She got up and left and we went to the alcohol store. Whoops. She left, but she yeah. Robin testifies victim. She oh my god! To make it oh sweet. Fuck. She told the liquor store owner. No, you did it. You noodled it. Trouble, buddy. I knew you use your noodle. You yeah. sat down in your thinking chair. To care for me. And, and we thunk, think and think. Never stop talking. Because when we the use our minds, it takes that bad time we can do anything. Do 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 that we wanna do. There we go. Yes, we've now become Blue's Clues. You know we've come full circle from, like, way back when we started doing Osiris Wrath and we found that Blue's Clues M. Prague fan fiction? You were hoping I wouldn't remember that. I didn't I'll even never, remember that. I'll you never forget car, that. Dude. You introduced me to M. Prague fan fiction. It's I'm all your fault. Wrench. Oh, wait, he must have killed her. Oh. Tiernan? Um, because we found you, that... We'll get a lot of more information later, I think. What did he just say? <laughs> I was I too busy talking about Blue's Clues fan fiction that shouldn't there. exist. I didn't do that, and there's no way you can prove any different. Shit! Once again, I forgot to look up that button. Shit! Okay, do it. I believe in you. You have the power. This for you to contemplate. No. Nope. No. What do? You, oh no God, up. damn it. Okay, so. Kind You're gonna get the option in a second to charge him. Do not charge him yet, because there's... I think you do another round of interviewing with these guys. Two out of four, you get an F in tin interrogation. Tin interrogation. A tin man fails interrogation class and must repeat it another year. Cowardly lion, you move on. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Did you know that the Cowardly Lion is your next partner when you move on to Vice? How fucking awesome would it be if Roy Earl was actually the Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz? I wish I could kick that door in. <laughs> like, Grover well, McCaffrey, you're well, under well, arrest like York? again. He's burst into every room by shoulder checking the door. Oh no, go to the phone, because you'll get... Uh... Oh, I think this is where you get information about the their uh, criminal Wait, records. And now, here comes your favorite... Oh no! She didn't do your favorite line. No, it happens next. Cole Phelps back no. 1247. Right now, watch. No. Okay, uh, oh, you're right. Fucking damn it. Dude. Who is that suave motherfucker with a mustache walking by? Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. I think we actually see him again in another case. Yeah, there we go. Dishonorable discharge. Oh, he's assaulting the bitches. Oh, That's yeah. That's bueno guy. Thanks for your help. Beating a woman to death. So now you go back and talk to McK. Was he practicing judo back there? Yeah. Rusty. He's keeping his keen ability to coerce and physically intimidate in the, uh, the, the suspects. Yes, I was. As, as sharp as possible. See the things that I saw. It changes a man. So. I came back here determined to change things. Determined All to change the... Is, is that... A pen. That really looks like an a opportunity weird tattoo on his neck and not an undershirt. Minor run-ins with the police. Like, all up his that. neck? It Never looks like a, for it's a weird That's Victorian pattern until he here, leans forward. And then the depth kicks in. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history, history of, violence of violence towards women. Towards of course women. he does. He's a scumbag. A couple parking tickets and a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge. Syracuse, you cunt. His record. Caffrey's criminal record. 
He's a piece of shit. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor, poor woman to death. death in Mirror. He's never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is Mirror. Broad. She was a goddamn peasant All the way. Whore. Tried to steal peasant from my whore. Wall. I could've... Does this, this sound country. like an upstanding gentleman? Do we really want to make the tried out split hairs over beating near to death and bitch. beating to death? What is a man supposed to do? Send Did that asshole to jail. How is a man supposed to call himself a But only man after you hear him out. Because, of course, we have to give him a fair chance. Habeas Corpus and, and whatnot. Habeas Corpus does not imply, apply to interrogation. You're uh, under arrest for the murder of Evelyn Summers. No, no! No! Why? Did you hear him? No! Leave it. Leave it and go back to Tiernan. Alright. There's nothing for on Tiernan, though. No! Wait, did he not just give you a big thing about Tiernan? No. No, wait, go back to Tiernan's. No, he just said that he did it. Well, what? more or less. He said that that bitch had what was coming to her. He didn't say, I yeah, did Yeah, but he didn't say he did it. No, I can't even No, what? Him. Yeah. I could have sworn that he accuses... Maybe... Oh, maybe I did it in a different order. I thought he accuses Tiernan and gives you some big thing about Tiernan, and then Tiernan also gives you something on McCaffrey. Maybe it's because we failed so many questions? Yeah. Yeah. So, so Char whatever, he's still a huge piece of shit, so I don't feel bad. Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging, charging you with the murder of murder Evelyn of Summers. Evelyn Summers. You'll, mi you'll most she likely get off on a technicality, but my partner Rusty is watching you. And he'll beat your ass. You've seen him do it. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. We, in fact, Another did. Red to Thank boot. you. Grant. The red to boot. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. Uh, why would you want this us to do that? Honest, uh, trustworthy, righteous George. retribution and fire and brimstone police chief? Police chief Wiggum? Look at him. He's all fucking smiles. Like, yeah. And smug, pompous smug. jerk off. Yes. And then this other smug, pompous jerk off. Cole Phelps really gets off on, on the emotional thrill of putting a man of questionable guilt behind bars. Overall, didn't do that bad. I think those two missing clues ha! might have fucked us. Let's see what it, this has to say. Uh, McCaffrey can write a tell all Oh, that's nothing. On death row. You sent a questionably... Uh, a questionably would I've guilty gotten man more to death proof, row. Would I have gotten more proof that Tiernan did it? Absolutely not. McCaffrey is guilty as shit. But still, you weren't thorough enough. You... <laughs> Dave, it's you all never about know. It's, it's, it's all a, about this. It's what all about this the, feels. It's all about the heart. It's all about the heart, and he was a piece of shit. So even if he wasn't guilty, I want him dead anyway. Okay. I want him to be one of my many victims on the road. <laughs> I can respect leaving a trail of the guilty in your wake. A trail of dead guilty people. Or a trail of dead assholes. Uh, I, I respect this. Besides, they're putting him on death row. I really have no reason to to complain with my hardline stance on the way on the way murderers should be treated. Okay, let's see what Cole Phelps has done. Was it the Spelunky episode where I was talking about how I wanted to be the Grand Inquisitor or something? It's been so long since we played Spelunky. We should play that again. They just released a PC version of Spelunky. It is like a daily challenge mode where they randomize. Uh, level and it's just like it's a big challenge mo uh, a challenge level every single day and you only get one chance at it. It's permadeath for one level. I wouldn't pick that up, but it's like 15 bucks and I don't feel like re repaying for Spelunky right now, even though that game is awesome. I agree. That, ga that game is still getting mileage. Did you see episode one of Dark Souls? Herbert Vanillaman is back in fucking style. Uh, the episode that should. By the time this L.A. Noir episode goes up, I should have posted the next Dark Souls in Blighttown. I got a whip for Herbert Vanillaman. Now I, now all I need is a fedora, but I don't know if there's a fedora in the game. Oh. So if any of you guys know of a fedora in Dark Souls or something like it, let me know, and Herbert Vanillaman will be back to full well done, Indiana well Jones done, impersonating Jones. style. But we have a problem. The examiner there was something the like a fedora in Demon right, Souls. It was the, uh, the, the fat official's cap. Go right ahead. They both I if I can mod that into the game. No, I would get banned from Games for Windows so Live, which would be the greatest tragedy of all. 
We all know how precious games for Windows Live is to many PC gamers. Yay! No now we're entering into the final part of Homicide! One else but the killer knew about this mess. So these are all poems, I think... Uh, I think... Last episode was when we started finding these poems, and they all come from a, a Shelley work called Prometheus Unbound. And you don't... Another it's snippet. weird because you don't have to actually figure out what any of the clues mean. They just... Update your objective every time you read the letter. And it's like, okay, this, I, Cole Phelps automatically deciphers what everything means. Which robs you of everything. You just have to look at it. Suffer woes. Uh, hope things infinite, wrong, dark, and death are nice, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 our police finish, chief Wiggum here has been in, uh, acting so cagey with things. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Yes, yes, of course. Start, so, this one, there, I don't think there is a single interrogation this in this one. one. You just, all you do in this case is you travel from like landmark stuff? in the game to landmark. What is it supposed to mean? It's supposed to Forget and I don't know if you get a proper he, highlighted house. So have fun with that map of this more giant city okay. finding landmarks. It's some kind of story, right? I think all the, the landmarks are uncovered for you. Though. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what story with two meanings? Didn't he? Or, symbolic. Did I miss something, or didn't he already figure out that he's talking about the fountain? Without ah. a fountain in a public square? Oh, that that's that. Uh, fountain in a public square. This is where he finds the yeah Pershing Square fountain. Come on. We have a clue. This Captain? is, I think, where we Thanks, find Rick. Deirdre Mahler's careful, shit. Phelps. This is his Plus game you're playing now. something else. I'm trying to think of what. They weren't even a print so now you just drive around places. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Just the best. Everybody wants to see. Yes. Give the people what they want. Except for that one guy who apparently doesn't care for the videos that I'm Oh, are you in. talking about that lunatic quick tooth? The guy who posted. On the, the Demon Souls episode, Interpersonally Challenge, where that asshole invades me in like the most obnoxious way possible. And I go on that big epic rant about I'm gonna tear him a new asshole. And the guy posts in the comments section about how I'm a rapist. All those cases, uh, Rusty. What I love when commenters wrong? call me a rapist. I know. It makes Enough me feel happy inside. Yeah, and it's our asses on the line too, Phelps. Oh, it does give you a marker on the map, okay. So the first place you're going is Pershing Square because the cryptic Success. Dahlia murderer has sent you on a goose chase. You're gonna visit like seven different places, including the movie set that we were at earlier that we completely destroyed in a fit of homicidal rage. Always with the fucking hot dog thing. <laughs> Never ending hot dog rampage. Let's just get this sick pervert and have it done with it. Yeah, Rusty, that's the attitude to have. We might be catching the most notorious murderer of all time. Not, not a little hyperbolic, but he's so unenthused about this. Police. You know he's just days away from retirement that way. And because he's days away from retirement, do you think he's going to live or die? What do you think? I think this fucking yellow cab's about to die. Well, no. Yeah, the police drive awfully recklessly, including not only you. Every I oh god, dude. the drive safely signs the banner is giving every single time. It's like you go out of your way to ignore them. I do. That's because you're a contrarian. Oh, this is the fucking mission that sends you into the tar pits too. Oh no! Yeah, this is that one. You know what I'm talking about now. I did this mission the last time we played, I think. Or at least ha half a part of it. Um, no. Or I somehow we're... ended up at the tar pits on another mission that I was playing. No, I think you drove to them when we were playing a long time ago. Because we were playing at the vice desk that one time we played. Yeah. You know, oh, look how horrible. fucking poorly animated the top of that fountain is. It looks like a gif. Yeah, it does. 
the, the, the everything at the bottom of the fountain is fine, but then the frame rate is like two. Is an FPS of two at the top of the fountain. Next. So this is the next clue. Did you find the other thing on the on the fountain yet? Yeah, right there. Yeah, there it is. I didn't know if you had picked it up. No, no, no. I picked up. The that next is. Elizabeth Short. Elizabeth Short. Short. Okay. Betty Short. Uh, Elizabeth Short Glad was, Long. I believe, the woman in Elizabeth real life who was killed by the Black Jesus Dahlia murder. Christ. They nicknamed the uh, the newspapers all. at the time There's nicknamed her the Shelley. Black Dahlia, and that's how the Black Dahlia murderer came to be in real life. I don't think it was like this big. Map. If you can work out saga you can like this is oh, it, it's freak, like one of the longest running unsolved crimes in the hi in the history of the US but I don't think it was a, a big serial killing I think it was just Elizabeth short how the fuck do I use the map do you um there oh. you go so where are you going next I didn't catch it is this let's see it's not the Christ crown of thorns yet is this the one that takes you to the the library? Boy, that's fake. You are the or um, no, the, the great, great Jesus Christ. Christ. Prove to me that you're divine. Oh, that. is it no fool first? Which one is it? Prove you're to me that you're divine. Change my water, water, water into, into wine. wine. That's all you <laughs> need to do. And I'll let the rest of the world come on. <laughs> you're juice. the fucking expert on that musical. Oh, it's the best. I don't remember the words to all the songs. God. But. Is that still on Netflix? We should watch that. Not today. Not today! I finally got around to watching that, and that's, like, one of my new favorite musicals. Hey, it's, up, it's up there with Newsies and, uh, 1776. There's a cave all overgrown with trailing odorous plants, which curtain out the day with leaves and flowers and paved with, uh, with veined emerald, and a fountain leaps in the most- in the midst with an- Wait, is this talking about- Oh, that's talking about the Pershing Square Fountain. Uh, where's the next one leading us? Did that, you? That was. No, I thought that was. That was the one I just found here. Oh, okay. So wait, read further down. That was. You, I think you do have to figure these out. I thought Cole just did it automatically for some reason. I wish he did. No, it's fine. Uh, second excerpt. There we go. That's what I was just. with said. vein. Yeah, because I stopped reading at the fountain because I thought I was talking about this one. Oh, awakening going. sound from its curved roof. The mountain's frozen tears like snow or silver along diamond spires, hang downward, raining forth a doubtful light. Uh, this is... I can't remember the name of the place. It's... I think this is the, the part with the chandelier. You know what I'm talking about? Where you climb up on the chandelier. That might be later. I don't know. No, um, don't it's the... Uh, what is it? The Hall of Records? Look on the map for all the landmarks. I think you can filter by those. Um, zoom... No. Yeah, just zoom further out and check all the landmarks. Where's my zoom? Oh. I think it's... I want to say it's further north in the city or it's around... That's Main Street Terminal... That is oh, it's so fucking imprecise. Angel's Flight. It's not there. Uh, what about you? You're close. L.A. Public Library? I mean, it's Yeah, go to the... Pl the Public Library is, at some point, gonna come up in this. I don't know if it's this one, though. It's... It sounds like it, though. Hold on. Ah, uh, oh, shit. I really don't remember this that well. No, it is the Hall of Records. Yeah, cause... Yeah, it's the Hall of Records. Yes. So where is the Hall of Records? It's a pain in the ass, because I think after you discover the landmarks... You're gonna want to remember where those two things are, the Intolerance Set and the Christ Crown of Thorns. Try further north. It's Angel... We've seen all the stuff around there. It's Bradbury Station. I think once you discover the landmarks, it stops highlighting the route to them. So I don't know... Ah... Uh, Fuck. Art Museum, I think, is a place that we go later. Oh, shit. Where is it? I don't think it's this part of the city. Just check around it anyway. God damn, LA. There's a lot of landmarks here. And they're all part of the, the collectible trophy, which makes it annoying because I they all have to be unlocked for me to have that, which I do. Try that one. That's Chinatown. Damn it. Where are you? There! Yes! Thank fuck! Oh, look, there's a chandelier. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Jig or whatever. Yeah, I didn't know if it was that or the or the library. But yeah, we know where all the other things that we need to go are, except the tar pits. I don't know where that is, but we burn that bridge when we 
come to it, or we set yeah. the tar pits on fire when we come to them. <laughs>